to respond to uh, some of my opponent's um, workability disadvantage claims that he brought up in his uh, previous speech. So the first uh, point he brought up was that uh, teaching on computers is time consuming because you have to teach the students not only how the technology works, but then also the on top of that. But that's something that students need to be taught. Um, Anderson Terry wrote in the theory and practice of online learning is that when modeling education, online learning will enhance the critical function of interaction in education with multiple formats and styles among like the participants, meaning the teacher and the student both learning. Students need to be taught technology in order to interact with the world now. Like society is way different than it used to be. So technology is ingrained into our society and we need to teach children how to interact with it and how to survive in this technology uh, they develop the world. And we're gonna take time out of class to do that, it's worth the risk. It's worth the time spent into it because students need to know these things. And most students, uh, higher income at least, already have phones and laptops since uh, uh, they were very young, so most teaching them like the functionality of it isn't going to be a big issue for higher income. But for lower income students, it's still necessary to teach them how technology is and how to interact with it. Same with um, what you're saying about cheating, is that teaching students more than just memorize these facts and copy paste them to a document, teaching needs to be more than just that. Teaching needs to be more than just memorizing things and typing them into a document. Uh, second thing you brought up was it's easier to be distracted. Um, James M. Lang, in his um, uh, article, The Distracted Classroom, during, on the Chronicle of Higher Education, uh, wrote multiple uh, pieces about how uh, distractions are more about the uh, teaching style rather than the students itself. So distractions are a higher level than just their being technology. I'm sure you've been in a class where you've looked out a window, you got distracted by a bird, and it's more you can be distracted even without technology. And if the teacher's goals are not clear and the students do not care about the lesson or do not know what the teacher is trying to teach, they'll be less interested in the lesson. Um, whether or not you have technology does not dictate whether or not you're going to be distracted during class. It's more of your own interest and it's more of your own engagement into the lesson, which is less to do with technology and more to do with the student and the teacher interacting. Um, another thing you brought up was the cost, but digital textbooks actually cost about the same as normal textbooks because textbooks have risen 812% in price according to uh, the Federal Communications Commission. And in 2014, the um, FCC did a meeting with several high-level um, um, online textbook providers to try to replace all textbooks in all schools with digital because they projected it would save $250 per student, which would be $1,000. Per student per year, which could save upwards of $12.2 billion, uh, according to the uh, current FCC chairman, Ed Sec. 